Hey everybody, Bohush here from photodeoxpro.com. And in this video, we're gonna look at this beast, the Ursa camera from Blackmagic. We were just at NAB 2015, the big broadcast show where they show off all these great cameras. And uh, Blackmagic made a lot of waves with their Ursa 4K camera and their Ursa Mini, a smaller, kind of more manageable sized 4K camera. The thing is the cameras do not have any ND options built in. It's not such a big deal. There are plenty of screw in ND options out there or variable ND. Uh, but there are some situations where you might need a little something special, and that's what we're here to show you right now. Um, if you're shooting with a 14 millimeter ultra wide angle lens, uh, that's, uh, that's troublesome to put an ND on because there's no filter thread. We made a video about that, it's right here. Uh, the solution is the Wonderpana filter system. But in this video, I wanna talk about using some unusual glass, medium format lenses. Uh, there are more and more filmmakers who are experimenting with these old, beautiful medium format lenses from Hasselblad, Pentax, and Mamiya. And we have an ND throttle product for those lenses. Now the ND throttle is a lens adapter which will take a Hasselblad lens, give you an EF mount so you can mount it right onto the Ursa camera if you want. But the special uh, addition is that we have variable ND built right into the adapter itself. It's really easy to use. All you do is pop the back off, mount this on the adapter. That's on there. And notice that the uh, this version has a tripod foot because the Hasselblad lenses tend to be a little bit larger. Let's take the lens cap off. Let's take the rear cap off of the adapter. Let's open up the Ursa. Pop that on. And there you go. Now in this case, we're not gonna need the tripod foot because the camera is 15 pounds. So I think it'll do just fine supporting the lens weight. So once you've got it mounted like this, you've got this blue control dial that will let you dial from ND2 to ND1000, actually even a little bit beyond. So if you wanna to fade to black, you can. Built-in variable ND is very nice for when you're shooting out on location and the cloud cover is changing. I often use these with my Blackmagic pocket cinema camera uh, for when I'm out and about and uh, you don't want to dig in your camera bag for lots and lots of variable NDs. If you're a lens adventurer and you're out there experimenting with these medium format lenses which yield a beautiful picture at 4K, the ND throttle is a nice, convenient, all-in-one solution to have variable ND that you can just dial up exactly what you need while you're shooting. If you want to learn more about the ND throttle, just click the link down below this video. You'll be taken to a catalog page with all the details that you need to learn about the ND throttle. And also don't forget to click right here to subscribe to get more videos just like this one. My name is Bohush. Thanks for watching. Check out these other videos featuring the Blackmagic Ursa and gear from Photodeox.